Scrapyard Diecast Racing presents. It's the one and done challenge. Yahoo! Welcome back to the Scrapyard, friends. I'm your host, Barnabas Tone. And with me tonight is our fill-in co-host, Candace Be Real. Hello, y'all. My name is Candace Be Real, but everyone calls me Candy. This event is a one and done challenge. And today we have Race 16, featuring contestants numbers 11 and 19. Why don't we learn a little bit more about each racer? Up first we have contestant number 11. It's the Ferrari Crushing 1964 GT40 MK1. It has a 4.2 liter overhead valve 8 cylinder with 350 horsepower and it weighs in at only 864 kilograms. And it can reach 140 mile an hour top speed in the blink of an eye. Followed by contestant number 19. The 1992 Nissan Silvia S13. This car with its 2.0 turbo 205 horsepower engine would be a hands down favorite if this was a drifting competition. But we'll see how he does at the scrapyard. And now, Candy, let's give the fans what they're here for and get ourselves up to the guillotine gate to get this race started. Scrapyard Diecast Racing. Well, Candy, here we are. The last race of the quarterfinals. I really don't know what to say about this one, Barry. Just that that little old Sylvia has surprised everyone in this here competition. That's right, Candy. I've said it since the pre-show. If this was a drifting challenge, that Sylvia would be the hands-down favorite. But tonight he's facing the Ferrari Crusher. That's right. The legendary Ford GT40. The officials have cleared the track, Barry. Let's get this race started. Three, two, one, go. They're even. The Sylvia loses it. He's in first. Ford against the wall. The Sylvia barely takes it. I don't believe it. Barry, that was so close. I need to see it again in the replay. I can't believe what we just saw. The Nissan Sylvia actually keeps up with the Ford all the way down the downhill. But then, Barry, that Sylvia loses it coming into the bottom net, and he actually manages to save it by shifting himself into reverse. And halfway through Carmine Corner, he was actually able to catch up to the Ford GT40. Plus, he was tail first, tailing that Ford through Clunker Canyon. And unfortunately, the Ford scrapes along the inner wall of the final straight and just clips the corner of the final metal barrier, giving the Sylvia the smallest opportunity to not only pass, but to win. It was so close. Do we happen to have a shot from our blimp cam? As a matter of fact, Candy, we do. Take a look at this. The Nissan not only crosses backwards, but wins by barely a bumper. <coughs> he did that on purpose to live up to his name. <coughs> what? What are you talking about, Wild Bob? <coughs> like I said, he was living up to his name. Because everyone knows that Nissan spelled backwards is still Nissan. <coughs> what? No, it's not. It's Nissan. It's San. San. <coughs> now you listen here, Barry. I know we is friends and co-workers, but you still got to show me some respect. No one, and I means no one, gets to call me son except my pappy, Wild Bob Sr. I didn't say son, I said son. Boys, boys, please, settle down. We has got a winner to declare. Not that little old Sylvia did the impossible and he beat a legend. And who knows, maybe he's on the way to becoming a legend himself. And remarkably, the mighty GT40 joins the other losers on the dun pile. Well, Candy, the Sylvia earned its place and takes the last spot in the next round. That's right, Barry. These here quarterfinals are all wrapped up. And now we're on to the semifinals. So please be sure to join us next time for Race 17. Don't miss it. And in the meantime, if you'd like to learn the specs about all the cars in the One and Done Challenge, then you can go watch the pre-show for this event. 
Until then, thank you for joining us. And as always, I'm your host, Barnabas Tone, saying goodnight from the scrapyard. And this is Candice Be Real, a.k.a. Candy, signing off and saying goodnight. But before I go, I got one little favor to ask of y'all. Won't you please be a sweet sugar and hit that subscribe button? So you'll never miss the fun of the next Scrapyard Race. And follow Scrapyard Diecast Racing on Instagram and Facebook, where we'll always have the latest bracket posted so you know exactly where we are in the... One and a challenge! Scrapyard Diecast Racing.